Hello there and welcome back to the channel. So here with another Boom Beach video. As you can see, I'm on my low level account, HQ level 17, almost maxing everything else on the base. This base, as you know, will stay at HQ level 17 so that I can provide content relevant to the low level guys. Now, as you can see also, only eight hours left on the Rainmakers, which means that today it's Wednesday, January 3rd. And we have Dr. T, Volcano Island on the Archipelago. We're going to go ahead and take him out um, as far as we can using the Rainmakers. Uh, should I boost? Uh, it, do we have an operation on? No, but we can start one. So, yes, I am going to boost because then later on I'll do the operation attack. So, I'm going to boost damage, which is important for these guys. Uh, I'm going to boost the troop health masterpiece and I'm going to boost the troop. The combo, combo energy. So just one of them. Actually, let's make it two. Let's find the seventeen percent. Here we go. So let's just boost those. We have uh, Kevin as our hero with second win, and we have the tanks. Those are level two rainmakers and a boat of medics. Let's go ahead and take on Doctor T Volcano Island. Now, I don't know what else to say about these things. These things are awesome. I truly, truly, truly enjoyed using them. For the past five days, uh, they have been really, really good. Uh, this video is going to go out Tuesday um, at around five or six, five or six p.m. Maybe a little bit early. Uh, so a lot of you still have one day, one full day um, to use them. Just remember when you're using them that uh, it is better to have them land at different moments. So don't land them all at the same time. And the reason why I say that is because you don't want them, you don't want them firing all at the same time. Now, so when you have them, when you have them firing not at unison, they're able to put damage constantly because um, those six guys are not going to be firing at the same time. Now, the only drawback to that is that depending on what you're targeting, uh, it may not go as quickly as possible. One, two, three, four. There we go. So. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know in the comment, guys. What do you thought about these guys? Did you enjoy them? Did you enjoy them? Did you like? Did you like using them? And uh, and if you did, um, how how many bases did you took out? Uh, did you increase in victory points? It would be nice to know. I did increase in victory points, but I really don't mind the the increase of victory points. It's part of the deal with these guys. So I'm going to, should I, actually I'm going to do second win here, I'm going to release a bunch of riflemen, or not a bunch actually, as many as I can, it's only a few of them that I can actually load down, and you know what I just did, you want to control that, because what ends, up, what ends up happening is that the riflemen go in the front, the medics go behind them, and if you run out of riflemen, guess what guys, your medics are going to be down, and Especially for a guy like me that doesn't have second wind, that doesn't have a lot of diamonds to to refresh those medics, uh, you end up losing them. That's pretty much the end of the story. Let's go ahead and do stage number three. All right, so stage number three. Come on, stage number three. Are we recording? Yes, we are. So, uh, let's see. So here, this is what I mean. Like, usually, the, the way I usually like dropping them is, like, I go one, I wait, like, a second, two, I wait another second, three. So I keep doing that. And that way, you're going to see that they're not going to fire all out unison. Um, and then you have the benefit of them. They're going to target one thing. They're going to move out. Because... If the building that you have doesn't have an, um, a lot of HP, what ends up happening is that all of them are going to fire at once. So you are sort of wasting DPS. You don't want to waste DPS with these guys. You want to make sure, because it takes a long time for the reload. So you want to make sure that when you're using them, they are targeting and they're using the H, uh, their damage appropriately. Now, one thing I have learned is that whenever there's a boom cannon, they do arrange boom cannons, but if they approach them in a weird diagonal way, they tend to, um, especially at the 9 or 3 o'clock of that boom cannon, 
they tend to get into range for the boom cannon and then they, they get destroyed. So I'm not really sure why that happens or what, what is the issue with that, but it happens. So I have learned to sort of work with it, either smoking tanks uh, or, or rainmakers that get too close or using GBE to destroy it or using um, shocks to, to tame those boom cannons. Uh, but in any case, it's something that you have to be aware of um, on your last day if you, if you haven't noticed. All right, so so far stage number three, not uh, not a big issue. I wouldn't ex I wouldn't have expected it to be hard. Uh, you know, once you get to stage number six and seven, uh, that's when I would struggle. Not struggle in the sense that my tanks would die. Well, if the if the beach is contested, then yes, but mostly because I would run out of time. I wouldn't have enough damage per second to take out defenses quickly enough that I would get to the core early enough that then that would mean that I would be able to take it. So let's see, where are we gonna go? So I think straight ahead is gonna be the best way to do it. You don't wanna lose time. And, and again, I'm gonna do what I just mentioned. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I'm gonna do what I mentioned. I'm gonna land one, then two, then three, then four, then five. Six, seven, and then Kevin. You know, it may have, it may seem slow, but now you're gonna see they're gonna start moving and firing at different points in time. They're not, they're not all of them gonna fire at the same time, and that means that I am maximizing the damage spread, especially. And also, I didn't land them all cluster up, because uh, if you land them all cluster up again, they're gonna target just one or two things, and you're wasting your damage potential. So I'm gonna just gonna keep them doing what they're doing. Um, they're essentially in one barrage. They are almost destroying all the defenses. So uh, this doesn't seem bad. Again, it's only stage number four. But if you're low level, um, if your rainmakers are level one and you don't have a lot of damage boost, if you don't have da um, boosted damage or if you don't have a lot of red statues for damage, then you definitely want to follow this approach because otherwise you'll be wasting your damage. Pretty awesome. So, you know, taking a look at that doom can boom cannon right there, he hasn't he hasn't looked. I have sort of the range imprinted on my head, so I, I don't you know get hit by them. But right now, everything else is out of the range. So now I'm gonna flare, and now it it is appropriate if you wanted to to get them all close together. But because they were firing at different positions and they were at different locations. Once they get to position, they're gonna fire and they're not gonna fire at the same time, as you can see. Like if I smoke them, then that's a different story. But what you're seeing right now is sort of the optimal scenario where uh, you're getting a shot, uh, one or two second difference. Uh, that ensures that you're always putting damage down range. Um, and and it will help you, especially if you have sniper towers or boom cannon that are targeting you. If there's a contested beach landing, then you definitely want to try doing this. Stage short number four goes down. We had one into one crystal, no one crystal, one fragment. No, actually one fra one shard. Fragment are the little ones. Let's take a look at stage number six. Not looking too bad. Uh, to be honest, the left side is looking a lot better in terms of time. Um, if I go on the right, I have to destroy all those buildings right there. And I'm pretty sure that it would take a lot longer. Oh no, Ooh, almost lost, almost lost one of the guys there, but ended up not losing him. So I'm gonna bypass that, those flamethrowers. I don't need them. This is gonna go straight to the back. Once I get to the corner, I can bypass that machine gun. So I may be on the range of the, of the shotgun. So I want to avoid that at all possible. There we go. 
and we're on our DBE. So that shock launcher is going to hit me, and that's the issue right now. They are all cluster up together, and if that was a high level shock launcher, that would you know that would have been problematic. I try to avoid situations like this. Um, so I'm going to smoke him. And I think I ended up wasting more time by smoking them than I than I would have otherwise. But now I know that in fact they're going to fire a, a volley. They, they might get stunned, but after this, it's just a free. We're going to have free range on the core. So I'm going to reckon we're going to have about three, three, two minutes of constant firing. And it's not going to take that long for us to destroy the core once we take out that uh, sniper tower. And then you see what I mean, like, that has so little, so little HP. It was almost not worth it for me to, to target that sniper tower, in all honesty. So that sniper tower has range on that Rainmaker on the front. Hopefully, our medics will be enough. And no, they, they will not be enough to heal him, but uh, they're, they're holding them. And I think that his amount of HP will be enough for him to be sustained. Oh, the, the thing just expires. So I'm going to target that, destroy it with a GBE. There we go. So now there isn't anything else within range. They should be able to target that core um, and not forget about it. But there we go. About... 40 seconds of constant firing and that core went down. That is stage number five. Obviously we're boosted. We have a little bit of, of uh, well, we don't have a little, we have a significant amount of boost because we boosted our damage masterpiece and guardian. We boosted our, our health uh, masterpiece and two of our GBE statues. <clears throat> you know, the main issue with the Rainmakers is just the speed. They, they, they take a long time to destroy. Um, so I'm going to go on the right, destroy those rocket launchers, and then target the core from there. Um, and again, I'm going to do what I just I, I just told you. I'm going to land them at different moments and at different locations. That way they're going to target different things. gonna let them move and this is a good thing because they 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 are they landed at different locations they are moving at different speed not different speed they're gonna take different amount of time to get to the position that I that I asked them to go they're gonna be able to fire at different moments in time and that's gonna be perfect because you know you're not wasting a full volley of those damage dealing bombies um, but to just destroy a single economy container Perfect. So rocket launchers are just tickling my guys. That damage mitigation that Kevin has, um, it's pretty good. That's why I bring it mainly. Uh, you could you could get away by using a um, bullet if you had it and, it, and if it's a contested landing, you can use it to distract stuff um, and, and do sort of the same type of attack where you are landing your troops um, especially if you can bring a boat of medics, you activate uh, the taunt and then land those uh, land those rainmakers at different moments in time. There we go. That's just entire that entire left right side is just mainly gone now. I'm gonna go on this corner, and again you're gonna see the first one to get there. He will fire pretty quickly, then two, then three, then four. So very little of the damage potential is wasted on a single set of buildings. Now, if the buildings are clustered, then that's not a big issue because the uh, they would sort of splash damage stuff. Like if they're not clustered, then yeah, you are wasting your damage potential. And again, my shock was late. I wasted a little bit of, uh, of shock time Hopefully it's not going to come and bite me in my rear end. Nope, we're good.
So I have plenty of I have plenty of GBE. So I'm gonna target that shock launcher, get him out of commission, and now it's just a matter of targeting the core. That's pretty much what it boils down to. And it's just a few minutes or a few seconds we'll take down that. Um, I do have se uh, second wind troops, so I have uh, two or three boats worth of riflemen. Actually, at max level you can bring 26 and we can bring back 14. So at max level, you, you can hold 26 riflemen on a boat. What I'm meaning is that at the current uh, second wind level four, I can bring 14. So once I hit that twice, I can almost bring one full boat. Well, I can bring more than one full boat of riflemen. So that was stage number six, not too bad. Not, you know, not bad, not hard. It was just a matter of planning your attack, planning your approach and just taking it down. Let's see if we are going to be lucky enough to get stage number seven out. All right, so we have a shock launcher here. We have a shock launcher there. But if we go through the middle, if we go through the middle, we could destroy a lot less things. However, I'm thinking I could use a GBE because then I can do second win at the very, very end. Let's see, actually, maybe GBE in this out might not be a bad idea. Yeah, that I think that's gonna be a lot better. So here we go. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six. Come on. Oh, I don't have GBE. What the hell? Ah, oh, okay. Here we go. So again, they're not firing all at the same time. I'm not wasting time. Now, I wish I could accelerate this for you guys so you don't have to see the second attack again. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Yes, I, need, I need to tell them to target this, to ignore those uh, machine guns on that other side. Because otherwise, they're just going to keep hitting stuff that doesn't matter, that have no bearing on the game. Go this way. So here's where maybe having a, a little boat of sukas or maybe some grenadiers would help, but the grenadiers will be they will be in front of the of the of the building. So it's not that great of an idea. So now I need to make sure. Yeah, you see? That guy was targeting me. What the hell? Okay, now we're good. Okay, now I just need to move out of the smoke because otherwise they're just going to keep... They're going to be in synchrony and I don't want that to happen. So two minutes. I think we're doing even worse than we were doing before. All right, so at one minute, I'm gonna send all my riflemen. I don't really care. Um, I'll shock if I need to shock, or do actually not not shock. I'll do I'll do ice. I do the ice thing, um, or a cryo bomb. As long as I can get rid of the machine guns, I think every everything else, the machine guns and the uh, let me see, machine guns and maybe some of the mortars, we will be okay. So one minute, at one minute I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna wait. Hopefully I can get rid of some of those machine guns. Yes, come on. Five, four, three. All right, here we go. Fortunately, I did not have more GBE to do a flare. Hopefully I'll get one now. There we go. Let me send those guys here. I'll smoke here. And then I'll send a flare, a, a shock uh, cryo freeze. I think this time we will be successful because that is a lot of riflemen. We can shock here to preserve some of our, well, no. Uh, I meant to send a shock, not a, <laughs> I meant to send a shock, not a, uh, a hate, a health kit. 
Oh, there we go. 28 seconds. This is definitely better than before. Um, the question is... I should mute those before starting a video. But yeah, it's clear for now that I will defeat it this time around. Obviously, if you're not boosting or if you're lower level, it will require some tactics of, you know, priority targeting, making sure that your guys are targeting what needs to be targeted. Because in all honesty, those defenses that were right there at the beginning were not important. You actually needed to target the ones on the extreme right and then keep aligning yourself to the right. But here we go, guys. All seven stages of Dr. T Volcano Island using our Rainmaker the last few hours. Very sad indeed. But I would now just go clear a little bit of my map, do my operation attack and say farewell to them. So I want to say farewell to you, not farewell. Uh, and you know, I'll see you till the next time. It's a new year. Hope you had a great period with your family, um, with your loved ones. And uh, I will keep, you know, uploading videos as my time permits. In any case, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for showing your support. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. And yeah, so I'll check you out. Later.